let's try this. A couple of weeks ago, I reviewed a program called Create Studio. Maybe you guys recall that. It's a standalone app on your computer that does some really nice animations. And it's kind of like a Camtasia light, I'll call it. It's pretty powerful. And I didn't want to like it, but the more they do to this, the more I like it. So I just wanted to give a quick update on it. So here's the thing, very refreshing to see the developers did a really good job in the first place. It's some serious software. You know, it's not some buggy, cheap piece of crap from JVZoo that a couple of hacks in Romania put together or whatever. Uh, this is some pretty well done software, so I like that. It does what it says it's going to do, and it does it. Well, the nice thing is that they have been adding new features, right? So that I like. They got the software out. It was fully functional, and they're adding stuff to it. So one of the things they're adding is the ability to export MOVs with Alpha. I'll talk about that in a little bit. The other nice thing is that when it first shipped, it had, I don't know, 10 tutorials on how to use it. They've been adding just, what's the technical term? A buttload of new tutorials, not just on how to use the software, but how to create cool little things, you know, cool techniques. In this video, you're going to learn how to animate a character in and out of a letter inside Create Studio. Let's have a quick preview. Great. So as you can see, the character and it's a really good way to learn and create something cool at the same time. You know, and they're not long drawn out tutorials in, you know, three, four, five minutes. Josh Rata, the, the kid that uh, is kind of part of the project here, smart guy, good video creator, he kicks out some, you know, really neat stuff. So I like that. Lots of new tutorials. I do have a link to those tutorials. And a lot of times when I'm evaluating a product, what's one of the first things that I look at? Anybody? How good are the tutorials? Right? And even better, and a bonus in this case, is do the tutorials go above and beyond just using the stupid software? If they do, and they give me creative ideas, and in essence I can create a project, then that's awesome. So that's uh, kind of the neat thing. But here's the other thing, and probably the main reason I bring this up, is that during the launch, it was at a very big discount. But my link goes to a, a page called Backdoor that you can still get this thing for 67 bucks. And let's talk about why one might want to do that. Again, there are new features. Some text effects, yeah, those are nice. Typewriters, blah, blah, blah. All kinds of animation. The thing renders like a scalded dog, which is kind of nice, as opposed to a lot of the online SaaS video creators that take forever. Uh, they've added a whole bunch of new icons, but here's the meat. Here's the sweet. Here's the sweet, sweet meat of this deal. And every couple of months, I get asked a question. Like, can I export my animations out of PowerPoint with a transparent background, right? So maybe I have a lower third or a cool asset that's animated in PowerPoint. Can I export that with a transparent background so I can pull it into Camtasia and use it? The answer is no, you can't. Any number of useful things come about when, you know, you can create assets that have a transparent background. And I'll show you an example of it in just a second here. Well, one of the new features is you can now export any of the cool animations that you can create in Create Studio. And it's, it's powerful. You can create some pretty sweet and interesting stuff. You can create them with alpha transparency. And they work inside Camtasia. So here in the software, I've been kind of testing this and playing with it. Let's do this one. Let's open up this project. Uh, there's lots of good animations, and if you are familiar with Camtasia, you might notice that it, it looks kind of a, a lot alike. <laughs> so anyway, all I've done is I've gone into the studio, and there's tons and tons of assets 
that you can get, you know, and download and then put on a timeline and, you know, do something cool. So here is one of the 3D guys, and I'll play this. Okay, and it's an astronaut floating. I like it. It's kind of a neat character. Oh, and by the way, there's like a whole series of animations that you can make this guy do. You know, and you can change all different kinds of parameters and just a ton of stuff. But here's kind of the secret is that now, as long as I don't have an image, like a background image or, I don't know, shape or something, this is just a solid color background. And it actually doesn't matter what color the background is, as long as this is the only thing on top of the canvas, this guy, right? You can go to Publish, and now under your file types, you have MOV with transparency. And you choose your destination, you hit Render, you know, and it's wicked quick. It's stupid fast. So if we go over to Camtasia, I rendered this out, and where is that guy? Astronaut floating. So let's just drag him into the project and boom ipso facto just like magic I now have a guy with a transparent background and let's just see my project settings let's zoom in here there we go my project background is white here I have a black shape so let's do this let's half and half him and just see if he is transparent. There he is floating and then boom floating in outer space. Right? So as a tool, as a, a quick, versatile, powerful tool that you can create your own transparent images with, you got a couple of choices. You can go the hard way with Adobe After Effects, HitFilm, I don't know if Premiere does it or not, expensive, complicated software, or one that's really easy to use and kick these kinds of things out. Uh, what else did I do here? Oh, here's one. One of the features in the program is a whole bunch of transitions, okay, and effects. So what I did here, I just put one of these effects on the timeline, and this won't preview worth a dog because it's really big. All right, and guess what? Let's move this in. It's transparent. So you could literally go through like the entire library of stuff that's in Create Studio and export your guts out. You know, and you can create cool things like lower thirds and, ah, you know, very nice using some of the, the better animations and stuff. All right, so I like that. I thought that was decent enough to warrant a quick update, especially with the backdoor thingy. All right, hope that was useful, and we'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everybody.